Tyler here with GP Knives and we're back again to take a look at some ultralight EDC folders for the hot summer weather. Let's jump right in. So we'll start out today with my personal summer EDC choice, the Spyderco Pacific Salt. The salt line is designed for carry in saltwater environments, but still makes a great EDC, especially if you are in a hot environment where you might be sweating a lot. We've got a corrosion proof blade of H1, FRN handle scales that have no internal steel liners, which also helps to prevent corrosion as well as making this extremely lightweight. And then we've got black coated hardware and backspring as well as a four position clip. All of this making it a very durable and corrosion resistant package that's great for use in the outdoors. Next, we'll take a look at the SOG Ultra XR. This is one of their XR lock folders, making it fully ambidextrous. We've got a blade of S35VN with a nice matte gray coating, full carbon fiber for the handles, and we've got no steel liners here. So this is exceptionally thin and lightweight, great for everyday carry and dress carry. And then we've got a very large deep carry clip so making this an excellent option also for a carry as a money clip knife. The XR lock is nice and strong, giving a nice smooth operation for deployment. And all in all, the thin profile of the blade is gonna make this a great slicing performer as well. And next we'll take a look at a mini version of the popular EDC bug out from Benchmade. So the mini bug out is just slightly scaled down from the original full size. We've got an S30V blade for nice balanced performance. FRN handle scales for a lightweight and durable handle material. And of course, a nice bright orange on this, making it easy to identify if you set it down outdoors. The axis lock, dual thumb studs, and Reversible mini deep carry clip make this fully ambidextrous, so great choice for left or right-handed users, and just a great all-around EDC. And as you can see, while being a compact knife, it still does offer a nice full grip there. And another popular EDC and one of my personal favorites, this was my first Spyderco, the Spyderco Delica. So we've got a flat ground blade of VG10, a nice thin slicing blade there with a slightly reinforced tip, ambidextrous round hole opening, orange FRN with high traction bi-directional texturing, and a four position stainless steel clip, making this a fully ambidextrous option. You got that classic mid back lock, so a nice easy to operate lock that is ambidextrous, strong, and reliable and just a great all around choice for daily carry in any weather. Next, we've got a great option from Zero Tolerance, the 0707. This knife has a great balance of length and light weight, giving you a highly efficient blade. We've got a modified drop point blade of CPM 20 CV, so a nice high stainless steel with good edge retention. We got a stone washed finish on there to hide wear from use. A full carbon fiber front scale for weight reduction. Titanium frame lock on the back, making it lightweight and strong with a hardened steel lock face for reliable operation. It's a bearing pivot flipper, so you get that nice snappy deployment and smooth operation. And then this features their tuned detent system, which uses a detent on the opposite side from the lock making it more reliable in deployment. It does prevent it from drop closing, but it does give you that reliable and consistent flipper deployment. And this one has a very deep carry clip and of course is set up for right hand tip up only carry. And next we have the Hogue Deca. This is a similar design to the Benchmade bug out and has a fully ambidextrous operation and construction with dual thumb studs, the ambidextrous able lock and reversible deep carry pocket clip. 
We've got a modified Warncliffe blade of CPM 20 CV for excellent edge retention and corrosion resistance with a discrete black Cerakote coating. We've got Gmascus Layered G10 for the handles for a little bit of style and of course some milled texture on there for traction. So a solid high performance option with a little bit more style there. Next we have a classic Quiken, the Lucas Burnley designed Boker Quiken Compact. So here we've got a satin finished D2 blade in that iconic Quiken style. We've got a marbled carbon fiber front scale, so a very striking look as well as being ultra lightweight. And then on the back we have a full titanium frame lock construction, so again lightweight with a nice solid lockup and smooth operation. And this one has a right hand only tip up deep carry clip and a ball bearing pivot for snappy deployment. So again another striking style with a high performance and lightweight design. And another custom design collaboration, we have the Wee Knives Pier. This is an Ostep Hell design and comes in a few different variations. Here we have a nice matte gray stone wash on the 20 CV blade. Full titanium handles with G10 overlays, again in that high vis orange. So this is gonna give you traction as well as visibility in the outdoors. We've got a 3D milled tie pocket clip for right hand tip up only carry and a stylish open back construction with single barrel spacer, making it even more lightweight and easy to maintain. And then of course it does have a ceramic bearing pivot, giving it smooth and snappy operation there. And on a more budget friendly note, we have the Gerber Fastball. This is a US made stainless steel liner lock flipper. We've got a modified Warncliffe blade of S30V stainless steel with a tumbled black oxide coating, black aircraft grade aluminum handles, a single steel liner for the liner lock, and a reversible stainless steel pocket clip for left or right hand tip up carry. So while it does have a right hand design liner lock, it does work well for left or right handed users and is a nice lightweight and compact design with a practical construction. And for a modern update on a classic, we've got the Buck 112 Slim Pro TRX. So this has the classic Buck 112 Ranger design updated with modern construction and materials. We've got a satin finished S30V blade with Paul Boss heat treat for excellent performance dual black thumb studs for one hand operation. We've got G10 handle scales with Torx construction, making for easy maintenance and a lightweight and rugged design. And this has no liners, making it very slim and lightweight as well. And then we've got a stainless steel deep carry clip for pocket carry. And of course with the clip, back lock and dual thumb studs, this is also another ambidextrous design. And for a nice stylish and compact design, the Viper Lil is gonna be a great choice. This is a Jesper Voxnes design, a custom Danish knife maker who has collaborated with quite a few production companies and also designs giant mouse knives. We've got a satin finished M390 blade with this big belly, a Skinner style blade and it packs a lot of functional cutting area into a more compact footprint. We've got a full titanium handle construction with carbon fiber overlays, giving you a stylish and lightweight design. The titanium deep carry clip is in mounted for a very discreet carry. And while it is asymmetrical, it can be reversed for left or right hand tip up carry. And then of course we have a ball bearing pivot, giving you a nice smooth operation and snappy deployment with either the index flipper or oval blade hole. You can also see here, you get a nice full grip on there with jimping placed perfectly on the spine. And while there isn't a full choil, you can grip up on the Ricasso area for added control. And last but not least, we have the Giant Mouse Iona. 
And this is another Voxnase design in collaboration with Yen Sanso. A very clean and straightforward design. We have a subtle drop point blade of Bowler's M390. This version with a stone washed finish. We've got orange G10, again for high visibility on this one, with an inset steel liner. We've got dual thumb studs for deployment on rugged bronze washers and a reversible deep carry wire clip for a secure and discreet carry. And while again, this liner is set up for right hand use, we can see that it's a nice left handed option as well. And we've got that trademark ANSO pattern milling on the handle for high traction and all in all, just a very practical, straightforward and functional design. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives. Thanks for watching, stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below, follow us on social media for updates on all new products and drop a comment below with your favorite lightweight summer EDC.